Welcome to the product road mapping template. This template is going to be for product teams that are looking for a more flexible road mapping solution. You can use it directly out of the box, or you can also modify it so it's more tailored to your specific use case. So at the top here, we have our OKR trackers. This is a great way to go ahead and track your OKRs in the same place that you're doing a lot of your work. So we have our objectives. We have key results that link to each objective. We have projects that link to each key result. We have epics that are linked to projects. And then we have milestones and tasks that are associated with each epic. Below that, we have some information on our projects. At the top, you'll notice we have a filter for our DRIs. This is a great way, let's say you're having a one-on-one -on -one with each of these individuals. You can simply click into their name and then talk about the projects that they're assigned. You can also click into each of these individual graphs and then filter the data as you see fit. We get information on our at-risk, off-track projects, projects that haven't been started or are canceled, the phase, state, and health of each individual project. And then below that, we have project releases quarter over quarter. And then we have different projects that are currently active. At the bottom here, we have a couple more graphs. The top one is going to be for our different projects and the status of each epic that's linked to that project. And then same thing for epics, we have our different epics and the status of the tasks that are linked to that epic. The next interface we have is our roadmaps interface. The first page you're gonna to come to is the backlog. At the top, we have a variety of different dropdown filters that you can use. And you can see all the projects and epics in one familiar list view. You can also open up each epic and project to get the record details right here. The quarterly planning page is a page where you can come in, add in different projects as you're doing quarterly planning, and then view them grouped by their project state. The projects page is going to be a place where you can come in and look at the health of each individual project in a Kanban view. And then the milestones page is going to be a place where you can see all the different milestones grouped into their individual epics, and the epics are grouped into the projects. So the first time you you click into this you're going to click into each project you'll see the epics and then from there you'll see the milestones in this template we're also using our record template functionality which means every time you add in a new project it will automatically add in different milestones that are commonly associated with your epics as well as the due dates for each milestone based on the due date for the epic the last interface we have is going to be for tasks the first page you'll see is all tasks so you can see every task and the second page you're going to see are tasks that are assigned to you. In this particular page, we're using the current user filters, so that way you can see all the work that you have on your plate. 